We are only two races into this season's Grand Prix and we've already seen lots of action, especially the ongoing battle between Ferrari and Red Bull. Now as we head into the Australian Grand Prix, Red Bull boss Helmut Marko has spoken to the media about some major improvements he believes will help Red Bull beat Ferrari to this year's top prize. So what improvements are the Red Bull boss talking about and can they help the team beat Ferrari? Stick around to find out. The opening race of the season was an F1 classic. Ferrari and Red Bull were at each other's throats for much of the race. Both racers put up a fair fight until Max Verstappen was forced to retire early due to his fuel lift pump fault. The same problem affected Verstappen's teammate, Sergio Perez, and he too was forced to retire his car early. This unfortunate incident cost Red Bull the race. Verstappen made up for his loss in Saudi Arabia a few weeks later. After another intense head-to-head -head battle, he snatched the pole position from Leclerc with just four laps to go. While we are only a few weeks into the F1 season, many are already talking about who will end up winning this year's Grand Prix. A lot of people are pointing at Leclerc and Verstappen as favorites given how well both racers have performed this season. One of Red Bull's executives, Helmut Marko, has already spoken about his team's chances this year. He's hopeful, but he acknowledges that there are steps that need to be taken if Red Bull is to come out on top at the end of the season. As many of you know, the FIA has implemented some recent changes that have made F1 cars much heavier than they used to be. This extra weight is turning into a challenge for many teams, and this problem is what one of the Red Bull's executives believes the team must change if they are to win the 2022 Grand Prix. Red Bull team advisor Helmut Marko spoke out on the weight challenge that Red Bull was facing. In an interview with a journalist in February, he said, The only problem we have is weight, but all teams have that. Thank God the minimum weight has already been raised, but there is still a lot of work to do before the first race. He went further to suggest that the FIA raise the weight minimum again. While this might favor Red Bull, its chances of going through are rather slim. That's because such a tweak from the FIA would require an 8 out of 10 vote by the participating teams. While many teams have their cars well over the present weight, there will be some reluctance to raising it further, seeing that the current minimum weight limit might give some teams an edge over Red Bull and Mercedes, which probably have the heaviest cars. Even if most teams are in support, reaching the 8 out of 10 votes is a bit unlikely, as two teams are already somewhat close to the weight mark. All it takes is one more team that finds a way to shed weight without hurting their budget too much, and the prospects of such a vote will disappear. Now they are about to head into the Australian Grand Prix, and once again, Red Bull's advisor, Helmut Marko, has something to say about the minimum weight limit. However, this time, he's feeling upbeat about Red Bull's chances. He no longer wants the weight limit increased. Instead, he wants Red Bull to shed some extra weight. Marko knows that wins like the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix will be much harder if Red Bull continues with this weight. However, he knows that the challenge of cutting weight lies in their budget. In an interview with Formal One, Marco said, It's much more difficult to get off the weight because of the cost cap. You have to calculate more precisely where technical progress, where weight reduction and reliability can be found, i.e. these three components, and then you have to find the right compromise. But one thing is clear, you certainly won't be able to drive at the front of the field this season if you're overweight. According to FIA rules, teams can only spend $140 million, a $5 million reduction from last year's budget. And there are reports that the cost of removing one kilogram from the car's weight would cost about 250,000 pounds. That means it could cost Red Bull about 2 million pounds to get their car to the minimum weight mark. In a recent interview, Helmut Marko said that Red Bull was still 10 kilograms too heavy, and that would make a huge difference when racing on a circuit like Saudi Arabia. But now, he seems more confident heading into the Spanish Grand Prix Prix in Imola. He believes that although Ferrari has a slight advantage, Red Bull has some good chances too. The Ferrari is a car that is always fast, in all conditions, regardless of temperature or tires. Our car is too heavy. If you're 10 kilograms over the minimum weight, that's three and costs us a half a second to four tenths of a second slower on a track like Jetta. Reducing weight means more expensive materials, which are lighter, and new parts have to be made as well. Our car is definitely more difficult to tune, but we will lose some weight in Imola. That should give us a significant time advantage, time gain in other words. So now the plan is to combine the next big upgrade with a lighter build to stay within the financial framework. We can't build parts twice. With the Spanish Grand Prix just roughly three weeks away, Marco and the entire Red Bull will hope that the changes come in time. Let us know what you think. Will cutting some weight help Red Bull beat Ferrari in the World Championships? Or will Ferrari go on to dominate this year? Who knows? We might just see another contender for the prize. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are new to this channel to be notified when we upload more content.